Hey guys, I am back and there's a little thing different with this video. It's a different background and I know I def usually have different backgrounds within my videos. Like it's not the same background all, all the time, but like I've never used this background area. <laughs> um, This is actually in my hallway. My steps are right there and this is the closet and then my front door is right there so if someone walks in they're going to hit the chair that this is sitting on and the video is going to be ruined no, i'm just kidding though no, i don't think anyone's coming home anytime soon so this video is kind of a story slash advice slash yeah <laughs> okay so i wanted this to be titled my bully bullying story but i realized that there's a lot to this video than just you know that story that i want to add so basically let's start out with the bullying story okay so in elementary school i don't think i really had any problems with any kids um you know we were still very young of course there were like mean kids but i don't really think that it really affected me in any way um but in middle school that is when it all happened <laughs> um and I'm not saying that my story is like the worst story ever because it's not but it is a story and I hope that you know people can kind of relate or maybe they've gone through something like this or maybe you know they just need advice on what to do if I'm sorry guys my hair is just my hair is really natural today and it's just really annoying or like if they need advice on what to do so that is why I'm here to, you know, share some history with you guys. Um, okay. So in middle school, um, I had, I don't think I had my group of friends just yet, the ones I had in high school, but we were slowly getting introduced to each other. So, um, so we, we basically, you know, I had one or two friends, and af after middle school, I had a whole bunch of friends, but yeah. But during this period, freshman, 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 um, during 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, I technically was kind of on my own, I guess you would say. I don't know if you would really say on my own, but it felt like that okay so um basically there were these two girls not going to say any names because you know i'm over it we grew up and that's it you yeah. know it's nothing to hold a grudge against you know um in high school we kind of went our own ways we didn't really care about each other and kind of just like ignoring each other but in middle school, um, I was always bigger, big, you know, um, than most girls in sixth grade. And I guess that was just, like, an opening to bully me. I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't understand why people do that. You know, you don't know the person. You don't know what's going on with them. And honestly, I was a happy person. You know, my life was pretty good. And, but you know, you don't know if the next person, if their life isn't good. You don't know if their home life isn't good. So, you know, I honestly do not like bullying at all. But, you know, no, there's no but, but, you know, just think about before you say something nasty to someone. You don't know what they're going through outside of school or work or whatever. Okay. 
so back to the story um okay so i was bigger than most of the girls in middle school and i didn't really take care of myself you know i was kind of like oh well my hair looks like this perfect you know who cares if it gets crazy during the day you know who cares if i'm not wearing makeup i was only 14 i didn't really care about all that stuff but these girls did so every not every day but you know pretty much every other day whenever i would go to my locker they used to just stand there and not even like secretly make fun of me like straight out make fun of me to my face they used to call me all these mean things and you know i kind of brushed it off i didn't really want to get into anything so this kind of went on all throughout um middle school until like eighth grade kind of it stopped during eighth grade but you know don't the I'm sorry guys it's just it it's crazy to me how you don't like people know nothing about one person and they just bully them about like because they look different or they act different you know if you honestly if I can say something to my past self it would be to you know keep doing you don't don't change how you are you know obviously that made you the person you are today and I feel like the person I am today I am a strong you know person and some you know negative remarks still get to me but I don't let myself hold on to them I kind of brush them off and I'm like you know I like the person I am and you know it doesn't matter what those people think and you know <laughs> and it was funny because um during middle school I actually had to do a project with one of those girls that were bullying me and it seems like you know we, you can tell like she wasn't really interested in working with me but she put up with it and she was a lot nicer nicer than at school so I kind of think like when her and her friend got together they're like oh let's go make fun of this girl you know because she's an easy target so also do not let your friends pressure you into making fun of anyone it is not nice to make fun of anyone and i'm not going to sit here and say that i have never ever ever said anything nasty about someone because that would be a lie um and if you've said that if you say that you've never ever said like even like the slightest nasty thing about someone i'm gonna have to call you a liar <laughs> i'm not a liar but you know it's it's sad that we are kind of like not built like that but you know kind of that we feel the need to make fun of someone because they're different or they wear something weird you know honestly as an adult now I honestly try my best to look for, you know look for good in everyone you know even if they're a bad person I try to kind of look for I'm not saying bad person like you know serial killer bad person i'm not gonna like bad person like a person that makes fun of other people or just you know a nasty person um so you know i try to look for the best in everyone because we don't know what kind of battle they're fighting inside or at home so it's always good to kind of even if you say oh i like your shirt you don't really you know it doesn't mean you actually really 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 like that shirt that you want to go out and buy it but it's nice to hear nice words coming from someone and it's a lot better than negative words you want to build someone up you don't want to tear them down so 
yeah I mean my bullying story was not as bad but you know the thing is these two girls like to get together and pick on me and it happened for like three years and it was really it was really mean like the stuff they were saying weren't nice things and I kind of don't want to say the things because not that I don't know it's not that it is kind of hard just because um I am a nice person I think I'm a nice person and these girls didn't care about that they saw that I was big and that I didn't take care of myself and kind of saw that I didn't have that many friends so they decided that I was an easy target and no one should ever be an easy target, not an easy target, but no one should ever be in that situation where they feel like they need to change themselves for other people to like them. Don't ever change who you are because you know what? The person you are right now is going to define the person you are going to become. So, you know, just think about that and... <sighs> Please, please, let's do me, like, a favor. Tomorrow or over the weekend, go up to a stranger or just someone you know and just compliment them. It doesn't have to be something big. It doesn't have to be, like, you know, something about, like, their job or, like, their lifestyle. Just say, like, you know, I like your hair today. Or, oh, my God, you know, your shirt, your shirt's really nice. Or... You know, look at that big smile. It's so, uh, you wear that smile well. You know, something like that. It will, I guarantee you, it will brighten someone's day. And, you know, like I said, we're all human. And obviously we're not the same. But I guarantee you that a lot of people like to be told that they're, you know, worth something not oh, my foot's falling asleep and you know not that they're t told that they're worth something to know that they caught your interest and that you thought they were worth something that you thought like that they looked nice today instead of saying oh you know I don't like that shirt or oh that shirt makes you look bigger than you are you know it's very unnecessary comments and it, can't, it hurts people and I don't think that we need to hurt people <laughs> I feel like I don't want people to think like I'm just saying this for like this video I honestly believe that everyone either has something going on that the other person doesn't know about <clears throat> or you know maybe they can't change their way you know they don't want to change like they shouldn't have to change but maybe you know they have something you know um maybe they're sick and maybe that's why they look like that or they look different or maybe you know we don't know you're judging by the cover of the book you do not know what's in the book to judge and honestly, I know this video was all over the place. It wasn't really all over the place. I told you a little bit about my bullying story and kind of never to judge anyone um, because you don't know how it actually is in their life. And kind of a little advice, like I said, don't change for anyone because everyone has something that makes them not perfect because no one is perfect that makes them them you know and I hope that this video helped you guys out a little bit and I hope that you guys actually do tell someone that they look lovely today or handsome or you know any nice thing because it's a very nice thing to hear even if you're having a bad day so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, I don't know what my next video is going to be out of it.
<laughs> I don't even know what I said. I don't know what my next video is going to be about. Um, if you guys have any ideas or requests, you can leave it down below. I don't know. I will think of something. I actually have to plan some videos because I want to do like um, a recipe video and another kind of video like this. But yeah. I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. I don't know what this was. Have a good weekend.